guys, this is Snowy and Shorty from the Snowy and Shorty Show. We're just showing you the rain here, and we're going to do our little tour of uh, New Mexico, starting with the Sandia Crest. Hope you guys enjoy this. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, we definitely got something coming. Go and get crazy. And here we are, cruising on 40 East, heading out toward what? To Harris? Uh, to Harris, yeah. To Harris exit? Yeah, so that's to climb Harris. up to the crest. Yep. And the weather's building, looks like around us. And we're almost there, but I just want to get a shot of the beautiful canyon on East 40 before we got there. Gonna be cool. It's getting mighty dark. Headed up into the storm. There's the eastern edge with all the bad clouds. Yep, burr. There she goes. And not a car in sight. Thank God. We're the only crazy ones crazy enough to uh, go up on the mountain during a thunderstorm. That's snowy and shorty for you. Yep. That's yeah. what we do. Yep. For your entertainment. That's right. Willing to die. Yeah. <laughs> shit so dry, lightning were to hit the top of that ridge, man, it would go up like a tinder. Yeah, I know. Fuck. But yeah, so, yeah. Here we go, deep into the bowels of the Sandia Forest. I guess it's technically it's the Cibola Forest, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hopefully we won't die. Yeah. It looks like we're heading into a heavily forested area. And there won't be any lightning strikes. There's an idiot on a bicycle. <laughs> yeah, Cibola National Cibola Forest. Cibola National Forest. There we go. There we go. Ooh, boy, you feel a temperature drop? Uh-huh. Wind's picking up, too. It's a pretty drive. It is. Sulphur Canyon. There's some of that white water up ahead. It was a hawk, wasn't it? No, that was a crow. Uh, a raven, I think. Was it a raven? I think it was a raven. I couldn't really see. I was too busy watching the camera. Couldn't tell. Looks like they had some rain up here already. Yep. It's wet. Have to watch for falling rock and lightning. Right there. Let me get a shot of that before it disappears. Winding our way around. Got about 12 miles to go. Here comes a hairpin. We're literally only going about 20 to 30 miles an hour. 30. Yeah? Yeah, I'm slowing it down though. I'm not going to take any chances on this. Right. Not in the rain. You're doing 20 now. Yep. It's a fucking hairpin. It's nerve wracking. Yep. It's knuckle busting. Yeah. It's white hair making. So you're right there. And that's the road we're looking at. <laughs> windy, windy, windy. We're probably up about 8,000 feet by now. Mile four. Yep. Coming up toward the top of the Sandia Crest. More of that white water. Another hairpin curve. Snowy taking her good old time on the windy mountain road. <laughs> Let 
better safe than sorry, right? Better safe than skidding off the road Skidding off the road and dying? Yeah. Yeah, I would agree. Here we go, another hairpin coming up. The last five minutes we've had about three of these in a row. Tells me we're getting pretty close to the top. We'd be crazy enough to build a road to the top of a mountain. <laughs> Where I come from, we have what they call mountain roads on top of the Appalachians, but those are just bridges. Those are just foothills compared to out here. There's another hairpin. Damn. Oh, nine? Okay. That means seven to go. Coming up on mile 13. 10,400 feet. I'm not going to film much longer though because we're down to our last bar. Oh shoot. Yeah. Alright. There we go folks. Santa we are crust. We are at Sandia Crest and still no sign of Sasquatch or Bigfoot. No signs of wildlife either. They must be hiding from us because they knew that we were coming up, coming up here. Sphincter and Bug Plug warned them. Well, they knew that Shorty, Bigfoot Hunter, extraordinaire, was nowhere in sight. I think I could see our house from here. And still, no sign of Sasquatch or Bigfoot. Guys, just so you know, this might be hard to see for those of you viewing this, but believe it or not, that cloud that I'm filming, the what looks like dust, is actually rain. Watch the yeah, it's this is pretty awesome stuff, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, cold. Frozen, yeah. Yeah. Let's try to turn the hail. yeah. Yeah, it feels, it felt a little snowy. It felt like icy snow for a moment. Oh yeah, you mean the open mesa there? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's like desert, desert. You don't see too much down there, right? a big open, like, dusty plain. Check that out, folks. That is desert. That is, that is real desert. That's a desert. 
that everybody expects you to see. So this is Snowy signing off and just so you guys, we hope you guys really enjoyed this show and our first ever tour of New Mexico featuring the Sandia Mountains. So thank you Sandia Mountains and thank you Mother Nature for the wonderful show. There we go. And here we are at one of the trailheads on the way down the mountain. Over there you can see one of the rain bands that we saw when we were up on top. It's kind of catching up with us now. Taking our time going down. Very beautiful. There's a station over there. How gorgeous is that? The size of those boulders. Cool. All right, here we are headed down the mountain. We're keeping our eye out for wildlife, especially Bigfoot, and keeping our ears peeled for that banjo he plays. I don't hear a twang. I don't hear a note. I'm saying Bigfoot's nowhere in sight. So we'll keep our eyes and ears open and let you know. Bye. <laughs> Pretty.